It's weird. I feel like my hair is weird. It's a little bit like Xenon in the 21st century, but I'm rolling with it. Hey guys, it's Lauren. My, my friends call me Lo. I am so excited to be filming this today. As you guys have probably noticed, I have not posted a video in a while, which is ironic because I'm pretty sure, uh, well not the last video, but one of the last videos I posted was literally my New Year's resolutions where one of them was to post two videos a week. I've had some technical difficulties going on with my current computer. The memory just like, it just felt like it was staying full. I couldn't download anything. I tried everything to clear it off. I couldn't edit any of my photos. There's no way I could have edited videos because it wouldn't even hardly let me use Photoshop. It was just being really difficult, very frustrating and disheartening. I also have just been really struggling with feeling motivated, which is such a bummer because I truly do love doing this. And um, I feel like it really is something that I'm passionate about. Just talking and sharing clothes or <laughs> clothes and just chatting with you guys. So it has been a bummer that I haven't been able to do this in a while. But I am back and I am so excited to get the ball rolling again. So today, in honor of springtime, we are going to be talking about some of my favorite spring trends right now. And since I am on a budget and I cannot afford to go on a shopping spree right now, we are gonna online shop together so I can show you some of the things that I have been into. I mean, I work in a retail store, so I have seen some of the new stuff coming in to Express, and there's a lot that I like, which is weird because usually I'm not really into Express's spring stuff, but they have a ton of cute stuff, so I'm excited to talk about that. Some other stores I'm gonna be talking about today are Gap, Old Navy, and H&M, because those are my four favorite stores. I think that they are the most trendy for the best price. I am not into online shopping, so things like ASOS, Topshop, stuff like that, I just, I don't know, I'm not into it right now. I really enjoy going into the store more so, so those are the stores I'm gonna be talking about. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first trend that I wanna address is anything that wraps. Wrap shirts, wrap dresses, wrap skirts. I'm obsessed with them. Doesn't matter what form it's in, I just love things that wrap and I will tell you why. Wrap dresses especially are so flattering on all body types. It's just the effect that it gives. It's very slimming. Things that come across you like this, it gives you more of like a um, hourglass shape. So even if you are more of an H shape, so like for instance Cameron Diaz, like she is very, people would say more of a boy body type is technically called an H. It is going to give her a shape or the illusion of a shape because of the way it's coming in like this. If you are more of a apple or a pear shape, if you're a little bit more curvy, it's going to accentuate those curves in such a great way because it's, again, it's gonna give you that hourglass effect. So um, I'm just gonna go through some examples of some wrap items that I'm really digging right now. The first one is a shirt from H&M. This is a wrap over blouse. I picked it in this pattern because I thought it was just fun. It has like playing cards on it. It also comes in just like a plain teal color. Um, the color green or teal that it's in, I'm not a big fan of, so I did not choose that. It's a $35 shirt. Really cute. You can wear it all year round. It's like, a, it's like I said, it's, it's such a versatile piece of clothing. Um, I really love these kind of shirts. The next one I have is from H&M. This one from H&M looks like a true wrap. And I'll tell you what I really love about this one is it, it gives you the extra slack to tie it around multiple times. So you tie it to keep it closed and then it comes back around and ties again. I love that like wrap around look. That and they're just so flattering. It creates such a, a fun shape. And especially with the ties like this, you can kind of place it where it needs to go where it's more flattering on your body type. So I really enjoy shirts that have the extra slack to wrap around multiple times. Let's see what it is, man out of. It's polyester. Machine wash, always a good thing. It just looks like it lays really nicely. And I love that this is shorter because I wear a lot of high-waisted jeans and mid-rise jeans. And it's really nice when that hemline hits right above that. Look, there's no sense in torturing yourself and wearing high-waisted jeans if you're not going to wear a, a crop top. Ladies, you know what I mean. Um, the next top I want to talk about is from Express. It's more of a mock wrap and then it has a piece that ties in the front to just kind of give it that extra detail. 
And then I'm gonna move on to some wrap dresses. I love this dress because it has a slit on the side. Most wrap dresses will kind of open up to the side like a slit and I think that is super cool. I think it's super sexy in a way that's not like in your face. Like when you walk, it's just gonna give you that little peak of leg but not make you feel like you have to like cover up and make sure it's like closed all the time. It's just a fun little detail. And they also have a wrap skirt, same deal. I love the way it wraps because it's more of like a mock slit like it's not just a clean cut but it's more of like a peekaboo kind of slit and I really I really like that another example is from Gap I love Gap they this is just another wrap dress and they also have a wrap skirt $59.95 which one is cheaper just out of here oh they're pretty much the same price so it's all up to preference um, they're different lengths the Express one is more of a high-low. If I were purchasing this myself, I would probably go with the Gap one because I'm not super into the high-low. And this one is more, um, just kind of more choppy. I just like that look a little bit better. The next trend I would like to touch on The next trend I'm going to be touching on is denim. Denim is such a great thing for spring. Denim jackets don't necessarily keep you that warm and they don't need to. It's just a great staple. I think they're wearable all year round, but in the winter they're just not as practical. And there's so many different washes of denim, distressed, bleached, uh, with the embellishments on them. I just think denim is such a great spring staple. And I'm going to be talking about denim jackets and denim skirts because I love denim skirts right now. I know they're like sort of retro, whatever. I think they're super cute. And I honestly don't think they're going to ever like go out of style. I think you'll always be able to pull out like a cool distressed denim skirt, put it with any kind of t-shirt or even a blouse and some sneakers and it's always going to be cute. It's just my opinion. Some examples that I got for you guys were this old navy raw hem denim skirt it's a two-toned skirt it looks like a lot of the sizes are sold out online but they still do have uh, sizes 10 through 20 so that's awesome I just really like the the cool touch of the two-toned on this and I think it's very versatile as well next example that I have is from Express it is a $50 skirt so it's a little bit more up there but I love the distressed hem on this my skirt that I have has like a uh, more of a distressed hem and I love it. You can wear it with boots or sneakers or sandals. Like I said, it's just really versatile. I just love a solid denim skirt, especially when it's distressed. And the last one, I wanted to bring in the embroidery aspect of this one because I'm not going to be really touching on embroidery in, like as a whole look but I do want to touch on it because I think embroidery is still really in it was really big last year but I feel like it's still kind of stuck around everyone saw Gucci do embroidery and like went crazy with it like everyone's just kind of running with it we just got sandals in an express and they still have embroidery on them I'm, I'm literally wearing embroidery right now I think it'll at least last another season maybe even two but I'm still super into it I think it's safe to say that it's gonna be here to stay for a little while. Now on to denim jackets. I wanted to touch on a few different kinds of denim jackets because depending on your price point and just the practicality of you buying these kind of things, I think it's gonna be a little bit different. So the first one that I'm uh, gonna show you guys is from H&M. It's about $40 and it's just a really basic denim jacket. It has some coloration to it, which I think is, in denim jackets, I think that a solid color denim jacket is gonna look a little bit more juvenile I don't know I just I just don't think that it looks as trendy I think they're too stiff looking and they just they to me they look cheaper if they don't have some kind of color variation in them the next denim jacket is also from H&M it's a little bit more expensive at $50 but it has some really cool embroidery on the back and I'm really into it so I wanted to show you guys this because for $50 that's really not a bad price it's a really cool jacket it looks like it's a little bit oversized which I also really enjoy and then the last one is this black denim jacket, which I think is super awesome with the birds on it. I think that if you have money to splurge, like I have a pink denim jacket, I have a, like a big zip denim jacket from Goodwill, and then I have like a more cropped light colored denim jacket. I really don't think you can ever have too many denim jackets. I'm with Jacqueline on that one. If you watch Jacqueline Hill or follow her at all, you know that she's all about the denim jackets. And I'm there with you, girl. I think denim is a great staple. And it's just so versatile. Like, there's so many different jackets out there. So, um, definitely look at h and m They have a lot of really cute ones. And I know Gap's quality is really good if you want to look into them as well. The next trend we're going to be touching on is gingham. Now, I feel like gingham is one of those things that comes and goes. 
goes. Gingham is not always cool, although I always think it's cool. I feel like it's not always as popular. Um, I definitely think that gingham is one of those things that is a classic and I think that it always will be cycling around one way or another. So I'm just going to touch on a few cool gingham pieces I found. The first one is from Express. It is this mixed gingham tie front top. I think this is super cute. I was talking to one of my coworkers and she was like, if it was one or the other, I would like it. But, which I see where she's coming from. If it was just the crop top, it'd be super cute. But I also really like the look of this with the two different ginghams on it, the sizes, scales of gingham, if you, if you will. And the next piece is this gingham dress. Kind of puts together the wrap concept and the gingham dress in this look. This is also from Express if you have some extra cash flow. In the last one, it also is kind of like a two-tone, two two-scale patterned gingham shirt from H&M. It has a flounce top, which I'm going to talk about later. I love this whole flounce craze going on. I'm, I'm literally obsessed with it, but this shirt is super cool as well. It's going to have like more of a peplum look, so it's going to be super flattering and it has a cool bell sleeve on it. It's just a unique top and for $25, it's a must. The next trend I'm going to talk about is huge. It's not just big, it's huge. <laughs> like literally I have so many examples because it is everywhere. I love it. Anything that has like a tie detail. Know what I mean because it's literally everywhere. So this first top I found is on sale right now at Express. It's more, one of the Portofino shirts but it has like a tie around the wrist. I had a sweater in one of my videos in the winter when I had did my uh, like winter shopping spree and it had like a tie like a bell sleeve and I am obsessed with that sweater. It's kind of the same concept. It comes in a lot of different colors. It would be great for spring to wear with a skirt or shorts like they do in the picture. The next example is this polka dot dress with the tie sleeves. It has a tie on the, both the sleeves and in the back. I just think it's a really cute touch and it also adds like a cinch to wherever the tie is, which I think is a really cool touch as well instead of putting like elastic on it. Now I'll be the first to say, what do they call it? Like peekaboo shoulder, cold shoulder. The cold shoulder tops, I do not like. I just think it's so overdone. I just, I'm not into it at all. But this top, I think is so cute. It's more, I think it's a, oh, it is a bodysuit. So it's gonna stay tucked into your jeans really tight or into your skirt and not bunch up at all, which um, is awesome. This is $40, which I think is pretty steep. Like I would maybe buy it with my discount, but I know it's a little steep. I might wait for it to go on sale, but I still love this top. They have quite a few shirts like that. I just think it's super fun and I love the red play it up with some lipstick, I'm into it. The next example is this, also from Express. Sorry, I'm killing you with the Express right now. But I just love these tops. I've seen them in the store and they're like a really nice, heavy, thick material, which just feels like expensive. Um, it just ties in the front. It's gonna be super flattering. It's gonna cinch you, gonna give you that hourglass look. It's very comfortable and you can wear it casually or you can wear it with a pencil skirt to work. Love this top because I think it's super versatile. And the colors it comes in are great. They have like a blush, a wine, a navy blue, this ice blue, white, and black. This next example is a total off the shoulder and kind of crop top with like the tie around the sleeves. Again, just the tie on the sleeves. I just think it's a nice touch. It makes it super fun. It's really flirty. It just gives you that nice extra detail. I will say it again. I know I've said it before in my videos, but I really am all about like small details. It really does make or break a clothing item. Just the little tie details I think are really cool. Same concept again. This has two ties on the bottom of the sleeve and then a tie um, on the side. This is kind of a wrap shirt as well. And this one, this is kind of a, a new example. It has like the tie right here on the tank top sleeve. Love that. I think it's really cute. Again, just a nice tie very flirty and fun. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about, this is sort of random, but I still wanted to touch on it because I love Old Navy for this exact reason. I go to Old Navy for all of my basics. It is cheap. They last me a long time. They're super flattering and they have a lot of color options. I just want to show you guys some really cute spring basics that I would highly suggest getting because you can wear denim jackets over them, leather jackets over them, blazers to work, sneakers, heels, boots. They're just very versatile items that I think are really cool to have in your arsenal. The first one is this t-shirt dress. It comes in a lot of different colors. Right now this is $15. 
I mean, you can't beat that. It is such a versatile dress. I'm 5'9", and it's really hard to find, like, cute, short dresses that aren't too short, especially when they're flowy. Flowy dresses always look shorter on tall girls, and it's really hard to find ones that aren't gonna, like, blow in the wind or, like, when you bend over, show your whole butt. Old Navy stuff is more on the lengthier side, but it's not, like, awkwardly long. But they fit me, like, they fit tall girls really well, so I really like that about them as well. On um, the next one, I just for the off the shoulder purpose because I know it's super popular right now fit and flare off the shoulder $30 I mean I literally would get this in like three different colors like I said again you can wear it with sneakers or boots or heels and it's gonna serve all those purposes another one is the sleeveless shirt dress they have them um, with sleeves on them they have them in denim navy blue uh, this green color is very popular. They have like a more of a mauve color and this material is so soft kind of like a suede ish if you know what I mean, it's just a very soft cotton type of material and I'm into it. And then Old Navy has literally my favorite fit and flare dresses. They've had them for like three years in a row now and I'm a little bit stressed because online they only have like one pattern. But usually if you walk into the store, there's like three whole racks of different patterns of these fit and flare dresses. I wear these dresses all of the time. Put jackets over them, wear them plain. I don't even need to wear a bra with them because the way they are, they're like, they have like double material on the top and they're tight so they kind of just hold you in and if you have small boobs like me you don't even have to wear a bra with it and it's great they're so comfortable again they're super soft and they're $25 30 at at regular price but still that's I, that's a great deal and the last trend that I want to talk about is this whole flouncy hemline and sleeves and just these flouncy details it's just like poofy almost and like ruffly and in general like all of the different cool lines and angles that are in right now um with all these tops i just think is really cool first example i'm going to show you is this gap top it has some embellishments on it and the sleeves are like it cuts right here which is kind of weird and then comes down to the sleeve and i know that this has been a, a thing for a while it was in a lot of the winter stuff but I think it can transition really easily into spring. This is $90, I just noticed that, so that's really expensive. But I just wanted to use this as an example because I know there's other shirts out there like this and if you have the extra cash, I mean, it's a limited edition shirt so maybe you wanna get it, I don't know. Next example is also from Gap. It is this denim ruffly shirt. I just love the lines in this. It's almost like a boxy feel, but I just love it. It almost looks empowering. Like, I just really like the lines in this, but it's feminine at the same time. Things that are sharp, but also feminine are really cool to me. Like, I like anything that can have like a nice contrast, which I've mentioned that before, but I stand by that. I think it's a really cool, uh, like style tip in general. Don't be afraid to take in two types of feels and put them together. Leather with ruffles. That's awesome. Denim with, I was going to say denim and velvet, but I don't know if I would do that. Denim and lace. If you want to take something that is more feminine and put it with something like a rocker t-shirt, like th those, those kind of things are going to put your style to the next level. Like, oh damn, like she knows what she's doing. Those are the risks that are worth taking. Another example is from H&M. This is a super affordable top. It's $25. It comes in black, red, or white. These sleeves are super cute. She has it tucked into jeans. You can wear it casually. You can wear it with a denim skirt. You can wear it with dress pants. You can wear it with a pencil skirt to work. This is another one of those tops that's going to be super versatile. And you can wear it all year round. You can wear this to a Christmas party if you want to. Or you can throw on some navy blue shorts and some lipstick and kind of have more of a nautical thing. Like there's so many things that you can do with this shirt. And the last example that I have is this green top from H&M. This is only $30. Like I'm about to buy this. It's just such a unique shirt. Like with the way the sleeves are really bunchy. And it it has like this long extended cuff right here that I really like and it's just super flouncy and just fun like I love loose clothing because it makes me feel so petite like I'm not a petite person but I really like my clothing to fit bigger because it makes me feel smaller if that makes any sense not to say you need to feel small I just I enjoy my clothes fitting looser because I think it looks better on my body type because I am not very busty I don't really have that many curves I'm kind of tall, so it just like, to me, makes sense. This shirt is like a dream, I love this shirt. It's a cool one. 
All right, guys, so those are the examples that I had for some of the trends that I'm really enjoying this spring. I hope that you enjoyed online window shopping with me. Maybe you can go put some stuff in your cart and stare at it for a day and then not buy anything because that's what I always do. I hope that you enjoyed this. I really want to do a video on the trends that I don't like because I could go on and on about some trends that I'm not feeling this spring. So let me know if you guys want to hear that. It could be more of like a rant session. Um, I enjoy doing that in case you haven't noticed. In the meantime, you should subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you can see when I'm going to upload and follow me on all of my social media. I will link it down below and it'll also be on the scroll at the end of this video. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. We'll be good to go. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. All rap dresses are going or all rap <laughs> this is it is more of a crop top type of, of let me slow down here I'm gonna slink across more I literally like lose Instagram followers daily and I don't understand why or juxtap juxtapose um, that juxtaposes to suppose. <coughs> I like things. I like things that can juxt juxtapose. Jux. Anyway, I like things. My posts are good. Okay. Low underscore eight two seven. Follow it. Anyway.